OK, let's take a look at a piece of audio that was recorded on a mobile phone. Often when we're recording podcasts, they don't sound so great when they're recorded on mobile phones. Now, obviously, the latest iPhone, the latest Google Pixel phone is going to have a pretty decent microphone. But let's take a look at this example audio here, and you can already notice some problems before I even play it. Right here at the start, very loud peaky audio. Later on over here, loud peaky audio. Also, random peaks here, here, and here. So we're going to need to sort all of that out. But first of all, let's play this audio and see what is and what isn't possible. Because while we can do some cleanup on mobile phone recorded podcast audio, we can't do miracles and we certainly can't bring back uh, frequencies that aren't there. Let's play this audio right now. Have a listen. Had another knuckle battery blow, but except this thing of the plug is just doing fine. It OK, so you hear it now. You probably noticed there that's not the highest quality audio but there are things we can do. And first and foremost, I, I want to, before I do anything else, I want to do a little bit of noise reduction and cleanup because you'll hear here. Actually below, but except this. Okay, just here. But except this. Now, do you hear that kind of, do you hear that is? Yeah, isn't that like a wind thingy as in like when you blow to the microphone on the phone? Exactly, when you blow to, a, so the same thing would happen if you were walking down the street and there was a bit of a wind blustering around, you get that so you're going to find that in the low frequency. So let's work on cleaning that up straight away. And the way we'll do this is we'll hit Shift and D on our keyboards or this icon in the top left on Audition, and we'll get the spectral frequency display. Now, this will come in handy a little bit later on as well because we can tell something else using this display. But let's zoom right in on this audio. But except this. Now, you can actually see where the speaker has blown into the phone microphone and created that kind of kind of sound and there it is down here if i get the marquee selector here and just select here have a look at that we've got lots and lots of stuff going on around this area and if i play that let's play that on loop okay there is the audio now we can easily get rid of this uh, using this which is called the spot healing brush tool it looks like a plaster you can hit the b button for the shortcut or the icon up here and then we can increase or decrease the size of this pointer by using the curly brackets on our keyboard. I'm going to keep it quite open and quite broad, and I am going to color over all the yellow bits around here like that. And we've got this. Okay, do you hear that? This. Okay, so he says this. This. And there is no more kind of windy noise. Undo it and put it back in. This. There it is, back again. So that is how cool Spot Healing is. It's essentially like uh, Content Aware Fill in Photoshop uh, for audio. So again, this gone. And again, just here. Again, we can see the lines of where the, the wind of the speaker's voice has hit the, the microphone. This, this. Okay, completely gone. I mean, again, we could do a second pass if we're still hearing little bits. This. Completely gone now. This. Oh, a tiny little bit of yellow there, indicated by the yellow, and now we're done. This. Okay, so we got this. Except. And he's got some more there. So, unfortunately, it is a manual job. There's no tool that I know of yet that can do this on automation, uh, but just with a few passes. Except this. Okay, you clean, clean sounding audio. Now, I'm not going to do the rest because you get the idea of how that works. Let's talk about frequencies. Isabella, do you know what frequencies are? Yeah. Is Not the lost frequencies. Sound? They're a great, they're a great music uh, kind of combo. But uh, we're talking about well, we are actually talking about lost frequencies as it happens. <laughs> Let's have a look at the audio now. Spectral frequency is good for showing you what's included in your recording, and you can see there are frequencies along the right hand side from 100 going all the way up to 20k and above, 20,000 hertz and above. So the lower the number, the more bassy the frequency. The bigger the number, the more high end the frequency. The crisp you get, the chirps and the pings and the beeps up there and the mid-range is kind of the voice now if we zoom right in on a piece of speaking here you'll see a lot of it's happening between low and 1000 hertz okay we've got a bit going on up here and then it cuts out just above 16,000 so probably about 17,000 so all that high-end information is gone and you know a lot of frequencies around here around the where I would expect the presence of the voice 3000 to 5000 hertz completely gone. Let me give you a quick example. If I were to go ahead and record Mike into here, you'll see my voice. Hello, this is how a voice looks when you're recording on a professional microphone in the spectral frequency display on Adobe Audition. 
So look at my voice. Now, you can probably see the difference between my voice and this phone sample, Isabel. I hope you can. Can you? Oh, yes. I mean, it's like, you know, Night a and lot day. and not a lot. Exactly. Yeah. And that's the way to describe it. Not a lot. A lot. <laughs> yes. Not a lot. A lot. Now, uh, Isabella, do you believe I can do magic and raise from the dead those frequencies that are know. gone from the it's recording? Like, I, I thought that that was the, the one thing you can never ask for. You can't ask to bring people back from the dead. <laughs> the answer, yes, if you've got a genie with three wishes. The answer <laughs> is no, I cannot bring back frequencies that were not recorded. Okay, I'm not a magician. So it's kind of <laughs> like, you know, Mike is not a genie. He cannot bring people back from dead. <laughs> All right, let's get on really quickly with this because we're going to conclude this video now with a few yeah. extra tips. Uh, I am going to improve the audio some what using a couple of tools first of all this peaky stuff uh is it's pesky and it's peaky uh so what we can do uh is get some effects in on the effects rack over here what i might actually do with this audio at the start clearly the speaker has just been close to the mic and then kind of backed off later so i'm actually going to do a quick cheat here and i'm going to select all this audio that's quite loud and i'm just going to pull it down a few decibels like this so that it's not too loud and we'll just make sure it doesn't sound too unnatural keep a radio essay a teen on a mission to the world okay and then go to where i raised it back up Plug is just doing fine anyway this is ypr essay a teen on a mission to the world okay and you absolutely cannot hear the fact that i've reduced that in uh in level now the reason i did that is because if i go and slam a compressor on it which i'm about to do to compress down the loud parts and make them equal with the quiet parts uh then i would heavily compress the start of this speaker's audio and it wouldn't sound so good so just a quick little sneak in there to get it all down now i've got the whole audio let's get out of spectral frequency let's add on amplitude and compression dynamics over here we'll go to the default view we'll enable the compressor to start with and we'll just start increasing the ratio i'll switch on preview mode so we can see before and after and look already pushing the ratio up how that's leveling out that audio down there going to push it up to three and see what happens there now i'm just going to ever so slightly move the threshold down which makes the uh, the compressor more aggressive oh look at that might be a bit much let's listen see this is young people radio essay a teen on a mission hey, this is good creative. he's just came into the industry okay he teaches a lot of music Again, more noisy bits that we'd get using the spot healing brush tool. Uh, so now I'm just going to turn the makeup gain up to make this guy nice and loud. Look at that. And we've still got some pesky peaks as well, which are just not not great. Uh, actually, rather than putting more on the threshold, I'll push the ratio up a bit more and we'll hopefully get rid of those. Mm, it's still not working the way I'd like. So I'm going to turn the release release up a little bit and the attack down further. Yeah, when the attack is turned down, then it really crams down on those peaks so if you're still noticing peaks after you've done your best pull the attack right down finally i'm going to end up uh with a little bit of an auto gate again uh, i've got other videos on exactly how to set a noise gate but in this example i'll just set it up vaguely so we get some nice silence and you'll see this depicted in spectral frequency lots of black areas between the speech Chalium Dumba and um this guy is really creative and you'll see how the gate is switching on and off and just finally i'm going to go in and put in a little bit of filter and eq parametric equalizer we'll go to the default view uh, we'll use the high pass filter to move off some of the bass and um this guy and then we'll use the low pass filter um because we already have high frequencies missing just to make that smooth at the top and um see much guy. smoother at the top with the frequencies and then we could go and enhance a few frequencies and um this guy is really creative because maybe pull some out been playing music heard his radio show it's his podcast known as discovery 101 so discovery 101 is a big podcast where it features a lot of music okay and we've got like a, a basic sort of enhancement there but of course i cannot bring back those dead frequencies but i've done my best so uh, in this video we have learned how to get rid of like any kind of artificial sounds made either by clothing brushes or uh, wind coming from the speaker's mouth hitting the microphone of the phone using spot healing brush tool we have also learned how to uh, kind of level out audio uh, bring down really loud parts and then compress the audio get rid of the spiky peaks that we don't need there and of course auto gate which is fantastic for eliminated noises uh, between the person's speech and finally a little bit of eq it was a bit of a rushed example of eq there but plenty of other tutorials on my channel if you want to take a deep dive into equalization and really enhancing audio but as you can see i can't bring frequencies back but i can make it much easier for somebody to listen to that recorded audio on a phone and that is how you do all of that Thumbs up. Subscribe for more New
Music Radio Creative.com